Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Jurassic World Dino Escape Mega Destroyer's Pentaceratops. I've said this uh, plenty of times in uh, previous videos, but really quick, I just want to say again that, you know, Mattel, like, I think they can improve as far as their Jurassic World figures go, however, I will say that Mattel, they do a great job when it comes to giving us new species, and this figure is no exception, this figure is great. Um, I mean... To be fair, Pentaceratops wasn't really in the franchise too much. I mean, it was in Jurassic World Evolution and Evolution 2, and I don't know what else, but for the most part, yeah, that's pretty much all it's been in. So, it's really cool to see a more obscure dinosaur in the franchise, in figure form at least. So, yeah. Anyway, I don't really have a whole lot to say, so honestly, let's just get right into this. To start this review, we'll take a look at the paint, and the painting on this figure is not that bad. So, let's take a closer look. So as you can see, most of the figure here is this, uh, sort of like this orangish, uh, brownish color, which I think looks really nice. It kind of reminds me of, um, actually, let's not think about that figure. Um, but yeah, in the back here, we have some nice, uh, stripes that are a very dark shade of gray. And we have that dark gray on the crest right here, which I think looks really nice. And even, you know, on the face itself here, yeah, I just think it looks really nice. The beak, horns, and, you know, all the little spikes on the crest here is painted this yellowish-whitish color, which I think looks nice. Going to the eyes here, we can see that they are painted yellow, and they actually decided to paint the pupils black this time, which is actually really cool. The underside of the figure is this uh, tannish color, and it starts from the bottom of the jaw here, all the way to this part of the figure here. And, of course... Here we have the scan code and the new Jurassic World logo. Or, it's not really new anymore, but you get my point. And that's pretty much it for the painting on this figure. It's not perfect, but for a figure like this, I think it's pretty good. So the painting on this figure, not bad. I mean, there's a little bit of a paint defect on mine. I don't know if you can see it there. But, yeah, there's like that streak. But, other than that though, uh, the painting on this figure is very solid. So, the paint, I'd say gets a pass. Now we'll take a look at the articulation, and the articulation on this figure is pretty cool. First of all, really quick, this isn't really like articulation, but something I want to point out. I really like how the head is made out of this rubbery material. It really does feel like a Kenner figure, so, yeah, I just think it's really cool how they use rubber for the head here. That's, I wasn't expecting that, so the fact that they did that is actually really cool. So, yeah, but anyway, at the base of the head here, we have a ball joint. And you can get some, uh, you know, some movement out of it. So there you go. The forelimbs can move forwards about that much. Backwards that much. And they can spread like so. And same with the hind limbs. They can move 360 and spread out like so. We have a ball joint for the tail, which is a neat touch. And we have some buttons here. This first one, oh, well that was the, well the front button does that, which I'll talk more about in a second. But this button here gives this figure like a little like wiggle feature, which is neat, you know, it's whatever. So, there you go. But the reason why this is here, well, Besides it being cool. We once again have some capture gear, which is pretty cool. I love this. It's great to see capture gear again. Now it's just um, two separate pieces, just gray plastic. Nothing too much to say here. But basically what you want to do is you just want to make sure this bit right here is behind the crest. And you want to make sure the horns stick out through this bit here. And then you just do the same for the other side. Just connect that, and there you go. I think that looks amazing. Again, more capture gear like this would be fantastic in the future. But anyway, you push this, and it breaks out. Well, this piece likes to get stuck, but you get the point. And yeah, I think that's really cool. Again, it's great to see capture gear again. So, yeah. Anyway... That's pretty much it for the articulation on this figure. 
and the articulation on this figure is actually pretty cool, so the articulation definitely gets a pass. Now we'll be taking a look at the sculpt, and the sculpting on this figure is actually very nice. I really like the proportions here. Uh, this is very clearly based off of the Pentaceratops from Jurassic World Evolution. So, yeah, I really like that model, so I think it translates very well here. I think the body is a little too, uh, a little too thick, but overall, I think that this is a very nice looking figure as far as sculpt goes. Uh, there is one thing that I don't like about this figure. It's very minor, it's very nitpicky, but I still think it's important to bring up. For some reason, they decided to give this animal five toes, which, very minor, I know, but... I don't know, that just looks really weird to me, I don't know why, but the back legs, or the back feet, sorry, uh, there are four, uh, four toes, which looks better, but five toes, like, that just looks weird. I'm sorry, that just, not a big fan of how that looks, but other than that, though, the sculpting on this figure is very nice. So the sculpting definitely gets a pass. Now we'll take a look at the detailing, and the detailing on this figure is very nice, so let's take a closer look at that. So taking a look at the crest here, we can see all the little um, scales and all the little like pebbling in the skin here are detailed very nicely, and even the little bumps here, very crocodilian-like here, so I really like that. Going to the head here again, a lot of really nice musculature, and overall the detailing here is just very nice. Everything here is very nicely defined, and even... The neck here, of the creases and wrinkles and all the little smaller scales, look very nice. Going to the side of the body here, we can see more musculature, and again, everything here is detailed very nicely. On the limbs here, or the four limbs, I should say, I wish the scaling here was a little bit more defined, but not too shabby. A lot of great musculature, and even the toes have a fair bit of detailing on them. And going to the hind legs here. We can see, again, a lot of really nice scaling and just a lot of really nice muscular tree here. Really looks nice. And going to the tail here, we can see some more scaling, some more musculature, and some more wrinkles and whatnot. We do have a seam here, but honestly, it's not the end of the world. So, yeah. And something I forgot to point out, the horns on this figure are detailed really nicely. All the little cracks and crevices. Again, looks really nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the detailing on this figure. The detailing here is really nice, so the detailing, I'd say, definitely gets a pass. Now, we'll do some size comparisons, and really quick, I just want to say, I think the size of this figure is probably my favorite thing about it. So first, we have the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Roarivores Triceratops. Yes, this is the only Mattel Triceratops I've bothered to buy since Fallen Kingdom. And really quick, I just want to say, for some reason, a lot of the Ceratopsian figures in the Jurassic World line now are very small. They're in, like, the Roarivores, like, this sort of scale. But this figure is actually, the Pentaceratops here, it's actually in a much bigger uh, scale range. So, it's nice to see a larger size Ceratopsian. I think it looks really nice. Here is last week's review. The Kentrosaurus. I forgot what it's called, the Roar Attack. Whatever, you get my point. Kentrosaurus from last week. And I think you know who I'm going to pull out. Here is the Stomp and Escape. I think it's called T-Rex. And really quick, I want to get these two out of here for a second. Like, look how nicely these two scale together. Like, I'm just saying for Dominion, when that comes out, they're more than likely going to make a Triceratops figure. It would be really nice if the Triceratops was in this scale. This just looks phenomenal next to the T-Rex here. Maybe this guy could be a little bigger, but for the most part, it's a much better scale than these two. I mean, that Triceratops is way too small, but yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the scaling. I really like the size. And of course, hand sanitizer, Dr. Billy Grant, and the 2.5 inch Jack Specific Sonic the Hedgehog. He's not permanent, this is just something, he's on my desk right now, so he's just kind of there. Uh, he'll go away eventually, so don't get too used to his inclusion, so, yeah. So at the end of the day, should you get this guy? Honestly, 
I'd say yeah. I think this is overall a very nice figure. Some minor things I would have done differently, but overall, I really like this guy. I think the painting, for the most part, looks pretty solid. I could touch up a little more on it, but for the most part, the painting looks nice. Uh, the articulation is cool. I really like the capture gear gimmick uh, with this line. Hopefully, that'll appear in other lines, too. Hopefully, it's not just for the Dinoscape line, but yeah, the capture gear thing here. Pretty awesome. Like it a lot. Uh, the sculpting on this figure is great, and the detailing is also great. And also the scale, too, I really like. Uh, for some reason, Mattel, they really like to make their Ceratopsian figures very small, so it's nice to finally have a decently sized, or at least a good-looking sized Ceratopsian figure. So, yeah, this figure has a lot going for it, and I think this is overall a great figure. Now, the price tag for this figure is only 20 bucks, so... Yeah, I, I think that goes without saying, you know, for that price tag, I think that this is a fantastic figure. So, if you don't have it yet, I'd say get it, because this figure is great. So, yeah. Anyway, that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zek out.